some on my long run and had a minor injury. I was running on like sandy gravelly path and then some of it got stuck in my socks because I wasn't really wearing very good socks for running in and just sort of wore away at my ankle. So it's a bit bleeding a little tiny bit and just stings with every step. Manageable, but thankfully my wife is able to be my pit crew for today, my first aid crew. So yeah, she's just up in the corner with band-aid and fresh socks. <laughs> so yeah, I'm halfway done now, 15 days. And I'm doing really well. Hi. Yeah, put those socks on, band-aids, dried it off, some cream on. Still sore, but I'm sure we can still make the most of the rest of this run. Hey Scott, hey everyone else. So yeah, that was my long run for the week, 32 k's. And after that, that pit stop, um, the first aid, just putting on a band-aid basically. Um, it, the rest of the run went really well. Um, so. It, I definitely found it hard towards the end because it's quite a long run and yeah, my body's never done that before. Again, it's my longest run ever. Um, if you haven't seen my last video, 28Ks was my longest run and now this weekend I've moved up to 32. So yeah, it's really cool to have a new longest run uh, to beat and I'm hoping to beat that next weekend again. I'll do a 35K run and that'll be my longest run before my actual marathon that's coming up in less than a month now so yeah it's crazy time is flying I'm feeling like I'm improving which is great um, I've only done 42 kilometers this week again um, and yeah I know I'm not going to increase it by too much more I'm hoping that the last couple of weeks well the next couple two weeks I will do more than 42 k's and I'm pretty sure I will um, but the last yeah, the last two weeks before the marathon, I'm just going to take really easy just to rest up and make sure that I run that run well. But getting injured uh, has actually taught me a couple of things. Um, and I've just noticed that I'm, I'm learning by doing these long runs. I'm actually learning a lot more about what it's going to be like on race day and how to actually do long runs well. So some of the things like after getting injured on the weekend, um, it was just a minor injury and it's not going to affect my running in the weeks to come. It's just a blister, really. Um, but yeah, just being aware of that sort of thing could happen on a run. So it'd be really helpful to prepare for that. So that means in the backpack I'm carrying, I'm going to, now I'm going to be carrying band-aids. I'm going to be, um, yeah, just making sure I've got spare socks, um, things to clean, wounds or whatever, just a, a bunch of like basic first aid stuff. Um, I already take water and gels on long runs. Those are the main things that I take, obviously sunglasses. Um, and yeah, just in future, I'll be thinking more about what, what I'll need and what could potentially go run, go wrong on a run and how to, how to prevent that or prepare for that. So it's really helpful looking forward. Um, I don't know too much else. What I've learned, I've learned I'm not going to be wearing uh, non-running socks. So it's really helpful to have a high non-running socks after getting injured like that, getting some dirt and sand in, in my socks. Um, and yeah, even, yeah, just the types of clothes that I'll wear on a long run versus just a casual run is a little bit different. So just make sure I'm running in my best sort of gear is really, really helpful because um, it actually does matter when you when you run and take that many steps um, things start to to wear and um, yeah can see some some effects of that on my body so helpful to be prepared for that and it's really interesting the more you explore new things the more you learn about it and the more uh, you feel prepared I guess moving forward so it'll be helpful in the next few weeks just to continue to be aware of that and continue to get used to what it's going to be like on race day and I'm really looking forward to it and Scott I'm so excited that you ended up signing up this week uh, and that means that we'll pretty much be doing it together I know he's doing the half marathon and I'm doing the full marathon but we'll be there on race day together I assume we'll drive in together 
or however we'll, we'll travel in together and meet at least. And then, yeah, I'll start at six uh, and then Scott, you'll start at seven and you'll finish an hour or so before me. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll do it pretty much together. Same course, just a little bit extended for me. I think there's a couple up and backs extra, but we'll finish together, celebrate together, and it'll just be a really fun experience to do it with you, even though we're not in the exact same race. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm getting really excited actually with a month left to go and feeling like my training is coming to an end, or at least getting to the, the peak that I'm gonna be at before the race. And so I'm excited <laughs> to get it done. But anyway, yeah, thanks for joining me in this video. And yeah, I'll catch you in my next video on Thursday and Scott will put out his next video on Tuesday. And yeah, it's gonna be really fun the next few weeks. Catch you guys in my next one.